the president actually has a social media unit. And from time to time, we do consult some of you influencers for advice and best practice of this new media. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot discount the heavyweights in this social media enterprise. I'm talking about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you name them. But these are the top five in new media and they offer a new solution to reach the citizenry, either by means of your smart smartphones or laptops or perhaps our desktop computers. Social media has become the more, more efficient than the traditional media we are all used to. You should use your platforms to bring awareness to important issues, such as the devastating effect of bullying, and educate followers on being responsible citizens. In fact, research has actually shown that following influencers who promote positivity and self-confidence can give a sense of empowerment, and people can use that particular empowerment to change our world. As prominent users of technology, I'm in, I'm, no, I'm in no doubt that you may be keen followers of massive digitization and the digitalization agenda of government over the past few years. From the digital address system, to the creation of the Ghana cards, to the registration of our SIM cards, all these are aimed at creating an organized digital society where each of us will be responsible. As influencers, Let's not assume that digital revolution, as we're experiencing here in Accra, have actually reached every part of the corner of our country. In fact, that is not the case. That is why the government is actually leading the rural telephony project being undertaken by the Ghana Investment Fund for Electronic Communications, or GIFEC, in working to fill the void created by the telephone operator's inability or unwillingness to extend, extend their services to areas they deemed uneconomical to operate. It is important to extend basic telephone voice and data connectivity to every part of our country so that we leave no one behind in our development agenda. In an era where youth unemployment has become a global phenomenon, it is very encouraging to see the numerous number of young men and women using social media as trading platforms to sell their brands. Today, you don't necessarily have to walk into the malls to shop for items like, you know, hair products, or perhaps all you have to do is just, you know, log on to the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all products are available to you. If you are bored at home with nothing interesting to watch on mainstream television, like you always know, nothing really interesting on mainstream television, once you have your cell phone, you have access to the world full of entertainment. Of course, for all the good they are capable of, influencers can also do very bad things. Issues of authenticity and fake news come in mind. Social media outlets have also become platforms for misinformation campaigns and violent rhetoric. Try to share fake news for information of information about a personality or an entity, and just wait for the feedback that may follow. Positive influences, and I mean some influences are very positive, will call you out and fill your own space with the right information. That's positive censorship right there. In spite of these growing, unfortunate cases, I believe strongly that you influencers are ultimate part of a positive digital trend as well as agents of change and development in our various societies. I've seen it, not just as someone who works in the industry, but as a follower. So fellow influencers gathered here, always bear in mind that with great power comes great responsibility. You bring attention and awareness to important causes. Be a positive influencer. Let your posts your pictures, your videos, impact on the socio-economic development of our societies and the societies you live in. I am confident that this conference will churn out positive influences for national development. And so I wish you all well for this conference. Thank you very much.